Hey everybody, it's Seth from Everything Money. Welcome back in. I'm here with Paul and Mo. Today we're talking about an intriguing Chinese company, Baidu, the search engine company. We're going to look at the fundamentals behind the stock price. There was a lot of hype surrounding this, and now there was a lot of fear surrounding many Chinese companies at the moment. And um, it, and we're going to look at the numbers and see is the price justified. Um, yeah, let's get into it, Paul. What do you think about what do you think about Baidu? Look at Baidu. It hit a high of 340 on February 19th of this year. So again, guys, it's currently at 163. That's falling more than 50%. So if I told you here, this company isn't worth more than half of what its current price is, what would you have said to me? I'll let but, you know. Uh, so Paul, I know where you're headed with this. You always say this, if I would have told you. We did this video six months ago, January 23rd. And, and, and give us your thoughts on what you used to say. January 23rd, if you look right here, the stock was selling at around 250 a share. It was an $86 billion market cap. Yep. And I said, high side $45 billion. Go back and watch the video. The free cash flow average over the past five years is two, Paul. Two. Um, now, remember, there was more cash on hand than total debt by about $5 billion, right? So when we do our number, we want to add $5 billion to it as what we're willing to pay for the company because it was a net $5 billion extra. Does that make sense? Okay. If you're buying a company for $10 billion, and it has three billion in debt, but five billion in cash. You're essentially getting that two billion dollars extra because you can take that five billion, pay off all the debt, etc. So here, I, this isn't a fast-growing company. I actually feel like, I mean, fifteen to twenty on the high side. Now, now they do have a lot of potential. Maybe twenty is fine. So forty plus five billion. $45 billion. Guys, it needs to fall in half. Yo, this is what I love about YouTube and what we do. We're very consistent. We say this is what we said. We're not taking things away. Guess what you would have said? Look how stupid you are, Paul. Look where it went. They even said that, Paul. There's a lot that can be valued from fundamental, but personal growth prospects is coming. The first thing I study. This is great, but you guys suck at this. Here's another comment. You Poor, poor analysis, Paul. Seth, let's, let's look at this. Now, let's look at Mo. Mo, this is what was six said months six ago. months ago. Kathy Woods disagrees. Kathy Woods just sold all of her Baidu. I remember this comment. Also, this didn't age well. This that was, was five, five months, months ago, ago which is exactly we, when February. Why don't we pull this up? By the way, that's exactly what I just said. Did this that, didn't did age that, well. Did I look stupid. Well? Did that age well? That yeah. Aged pretty well. It so, aged like fine wine, guys, Paul. Also, you guys suck. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, then the stock went to $115 billion market cap. I said it was worth 45 Guess what it's at today? Yeah, boy. What's it at today, Uncle Seth? It Market cap, oh. $55 billion. There you go. Now, since then, two other quarters have come out. There's probably new data out there. We'll see if it's worth the price today. But the point I'm trying to make, guys, is, and this isn't just the only one this has happened with. In this booming market, as markets go down, this will happen more and more often. And we'll sit there and say, remember what we said before? When everybody said we were crazy? This is just now starting with the Chinese stocks. I just want to repeat this over and over. Before you sit there and criticize our analysis, over long periods of time, stocks will do exactly what the fundamentals show. Kathy Woods is a lying sack of Ooh. whatever she is. She doesn't care, she's only momentum. She's not a value investor, even though she says she's a value investor. She sold her shares the second the stock started to tank. This is exactly it. If you don't agree with what I'm saying here, turn off your channel, I don't want you to watch. You are not smart enough to understand what I'm saying. You are dumb, I am smart. If you do believe in what I'm saying, <laughs> if, you, if this rings true to you, keep watching because you'll learn more and you'll become smart like me. This is, is that arrogant? This is why I, listen, this is, this is why I have you in my life because I'm not, I don't have the cojones. <laughs> it actually gets me so mad that people would sit there and they listen and literally five months ago in February, what did I say in the beginning of this video? Look, people thought we were stupid. This video didn't age well. That was in February. Nate, check this out. Here's this guy last. He said, sorry, unsubscribe. You did way too little research, obviously. And we don't know the moat that they have. Free please, please respond to that right now. Yeah, I will. You suck, whatever your name is. All right, Paul. By the way, that was two months ago. Okay, so guys, $55 billion market cap. Look at the PE here, Seth. Oh 7.44, that's a check. That's nice. Profit margin, 42.7, that's a check. I don't understand how their, their gross margin and profit margin are so close to each other. Anyhow, no dividend and return on assets and 14.4%. Uh, a five-year return on invested capital of 6.5%, but probably because they don't have much history to it, so I'm not putting as much um, emphasis on that one. Here's a, here's, a, here's a game changer here, Seth. Look at this free cash from the last 12 months. Four billion? Four billion dollars. That puts their current market cap 11, oh, at that? 13 times free cash flow. Oh, maybe that's 14. Nice. That's what we want, baby. That's what we want, baby. Exactly. Okay. So. Shall we hit the. Uh... 
Income balance, statement. Income statement. This is pillar number three, revenue growth of the past oh, they five do have years. Oh, the, they do have the, the history. Here's the revenue. 11.03 to 17.36. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Gotcha. Okay, there's the growth. Perfect. That's a check mark there. Pillar number four is profit growth over the past five years, Paul. Look at this, Seth. 1.76 to oh 7.4 billion. Boy. That's a check. Yeah. Keep going. How about shares outstanding? What are they doing? My guess is, oh, wow, they're buying shares back. 347 down to 336. Okay. Well, suck me sideways and call me Betty. Current assets of a current life. Now, guys, this software up here is incredible. This was a request from all, our page, from all of our viewers. We made the software, and now it's available to you. Here are the things you get. You get a mobile app. Nobody has a mobile app for financial data like this. Eight pillars, 30 years of financial data, stock analyzer tool, all the way down. Everything's growing. Discord community. You can literally talk to 4,400 other people about your investment ideas in a very organized way. This used to be $8 a month. It's on its way to $49 a month. And now you can get it for 80 cents per day. Everybody else is $200, $235. I'm trying to be efficient here and tell you guys you're crazy. You get all that software you see, plus as it grows, you get everything and you're locked in your 80 cents a day price going forward. You can join today, join our Patreon below and have the software within the hour. And when we move off of Patreon, you can have it uh, for the rest of your life at the price you pay today. Go ahead, Paul. Current assets, 29.5 billion. Current liabilities, 10.3 billion. Total liabilities, 22 billion. So guys, they have Money $7 in the bank. billion dollars more than all their liabilities. It takes their $55 billion market cap down to 48. It takes their price to free cash flow down to 12. This is insane. Cash so, flow, let's go look at the cash flow. Yeah, this is the big mamma jamma. Let's go to the annual numbers. Okay, so here's the issue with this numbers. It's right here, 1.84 to 2.9. Foreign companies tend to report on the annual basis, so keep that in mind here when you look at this and how it differs from the main page, with an average of 2.24. 2.24 times 20 is $44 billion. Boy, does that sound familiar from what I said before? Yeah, you said 45, six months ago. Yeah, so I'm looking at this going, guys. If you believe in the growth potential of the revenue and the profit and the free cash flow, I think this is, we're gonna put it in our stock analyzer tool after Mo goes and looks at the chart. And we will sit there and look at it, but I have to think this is probably a reasonable purchase at this point, but we'll find out from the stock analyzer tool. Yeah, our adjusted market cap got us down to 48 bills, so we're pretty close, Paul, and interesting. Uh, Mo, are people trading, by What's going on over there? The tough part about trading a stock like this is you're below all four of those major moving averages. Uh -oh. There's a lot of negative sentiment coming out of China, so I don't foresee this thing having enough buying volume to push through there anytime soon. And just alone, if you look at the volume over the past three, three months, six months, whatever it is, it's terrible. It's not even hitting anything on average volume. So that's bad in, it, uh, in and of itself. Let's look at the long-term chart, see if you can do something with this. So it's in the oversold area, but this could very well just keep going sideways on this bottom for a very long time as the price just keeps declining on you. To me, I'm not shorting it. I'm not going long on it because with all the news that's out there, I don't like talking about news and charts and stuff, but with any good news that comes out of China on any company, this thing could jump on you 10% or it could jump down on you. So to me, day trade this thing, what's it, I mean, it probably moves a lot based on the hype kind of stuff. So I think this is a good day trading stock on a 15 minute chart. You know, Paul, when, you, when, when I get bored in life, which we need to put ourselves in more boring spots so we can think, you know, Paul, I was sudsing up in the shower and thinking about the research I've been reading about really famous value investors. And when, when there's fear, that's when they're buying. And I thought, man, these Chinese stocks that we've yeah. been talking about, this is the fear. It's so, even changing the way I view them. You know? Yep. It's funny. Oh, in a good way, though, in right? In a good way. Yeah. 100% in a yeah, good way. Yeah, it's like I never thought, when we first started talking about Baba, like, yeah. months ago, the, the, we were, this is crazy. Now, we're all, we're all holding it. I yeah. mean, literally, the first thing I did on Tuesday morning when I opened my eyes is I looked at the market, I looked at Baba, and I texted Paul, and I said, Paul, I think this is the point where there's overwhelming fear, and we need to take advantage of it. I think Mo was right. And this is, by the way, and this is the whole thing. Like All of our patrons message me and say, Paul, I'm really glad I have you to rub bounce. Guys, I'm just, I mean, I, I, I'm less emotional about investing than you guys, than most people are, but I'm still emotional. About it. Like when, when Mo said that to me, I'm like, yep, Mo, you're right. Like it took him saying to me, Paul, I think the fear is big. I mean, Baba's down over 50%, all these things. Yep, let's go look at it. And sure enough, I liked everything I saw about it. And I did like the fact that three value investors that yep. I respect yep. Believe the numbers. All I cared about was who should I believe the numbers coming out of Baba and Baidu and all these other companies. Mm -hmm. As long as you believe the numbers, because that has been an issue in the past, 
That's the question. Mm -hmm. Now, stock analyzer tool, guys. Remember, we have the stock analyzer tool to sit there and tell you kind of an idea of what you should pay for the company. I made my assumptions here. Low assumption, 4% growth a year, up to eight. They haven't even done 4% in the last 10 years. Share change, keep it the same. Profit margin, 22 to 28. Free cash flow, same thing. PE, 12 to 18. Returns, 15% down to 10%. Look at this, Seth. Go on. Oh my God, screaming by. I mean, guys, <laughs> if you believe the numbers out of Baidu, it's at 163. I mean, guys, we're there. We're there. We're there, man. We're there. I mean, I just look at this saying, as long as you believe the numbers here and believe my assumptions above, which I don't think my assumptions above were egregious, I mean, I think I, I, think I need to start selling some puts here at the low levels here. I mean, even maybe put an acquisition. We gotta, who, we gotta find out more about who does the auditing. Uh, that's exactly, yeah. I wanna go look more into that. See if there's anybody like uh, Manesh Pabrai, Charlie Munger, anybody's buying it. And it's not, because, it's not to see their value. Sure. It's to see, do they trust the numbers? Yep, everything about any companies abroad, yep. especially in China, is do you believe the numbers? They believe BABA numbers, I have no problem trusting them on that. The question is, do they believe Baidu? If they believe Baidu numbers, I mean, I just think this is great. And China's a very much growing. So people oh, yeah. look at growth as, I don't look at China's growth as number of people. I look at it as how many people are becoming middle class. Yes. That's what matters in China. Because the average person in China makes three or 4,000 a year. Yeah. If anybody doesn't, it's okay that China will be a bigger economy than us someday. But we also make like 20 times more per person than they do. As time goes on, that, will, that, that gap will, will shrink and shrink and shrink. And that's a good thing for Chinese companies and people investing in China. So that is our take on Baidu, a very interesting company, Paul. It's amazing how consistent you are with your numbers. Uh, if you are interested in doubling down on this and hearing this from other channels, as always, we recommend Sven Carlin's channel, Manish Babrai, Jimmy Capel from Learn From Invest. They're all saying a lot, a lot of the same things about these China companies uh, nowadays. So feel free to check out their videos as well. So that is our take. Fondle the thumbs up on the way out. Join the Patreon, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.